All right, I got a skylight that's leaking. I see there's some water damage right here. Okay. I also saw some leaks that were dripping down through here. So I'm guessing that it could be leaking from the roof and coming down and maybe ruining some nails along the way, as you can see, and uh, causing water damage. This is a Velux skylight. Um, I never worked with a skylight before, so this is going to be a first time experience for me. And, and then again, I never fixed a leak on the roof like this before, so I know that these pop out. This is how you clean them. This is needs a replacement screen. Um, you can see the brand right here. So I'm going to open it up. I want to try to whoop, I'm going the wrong way. I want to try to work with it from the inside instead of standing on the roof. See if I can figure it out from here. If I can just take the skylight out the way. So you got these little tabs here, and I got a screwdriver here. And it looks like this just comes out. Somehow, yeah. So yeah, this just pulls down somehow. Maybe okay, it pushes. Uh, oh, I think I got it. Yeah. All right. So that comes down like that, and now these. Turn this way, and then just pop out like that. All right, let me get a ladder. Okay, got my ladder here. I want to see. I can just lift this up without breaking it. It's heavy. Nope. I think that's as far as it's gonna go. Hmm. Such a steep roof over here. Let's see. Okay. Morning. Okay, good night. <laughs> You're the only one who can pick this one out and then go back there. Okay. Yeah, so I'm at a loss over here. Maybe I am better off climbing the roof up on that side and just leaning over, seeing if I can figure out where the problem is. Because it's definitely going to be coming from up top. So it's going to be coming from right around here. That's basically where that line is at. So let me try getting up that way and see if that's better. But until then, I'm going to secure this better. So I can trust it like that. Put this back in here. Okay. just feel safer if that stays where it's supposed to be. Alright, so I got me a brush, <clears throat> screwdriver, broom hand, or broom head, and some flex seal. Let's hope this fixes the problem.
Now I just want to come over here. <clears throat> I'm going to brush this debris away. Well, it looks like it was patched once before. Doesn't look like it held very well. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now, directions for this is surface must be clean, dry, and free of grease. Holy bugs on me. Like baby mosquitoes. Um, oil and dirt. And increase adhesive by etching surface with sandpaper. You don't need to do that. Brush, roll, dip, pour directly onto surface. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, brush it on. Coat entire surface until all cracks and holes are completely filled. Apply additional coats as needed. Allow each coat to dry completely for before adding additional coats. Allow 24 to 48 hours or more to dry. Hmm. Okay. So a day or two. Here, I'll put a light coat on there. I do want this to be thick.
right. It looks fairly good. I'll just let that dry. And hopefully, no more leaks. Alright, so it's been about six months since I sealed up my sunroof. Um, you can see here I did the plastering of the wall. Um, I still need to sand it down, but there's no leaks, there's no water coming through my wall. I've even put clothes in here in my drawer and everything's staying nice and dry. It has rained several times since I sealed that up up there and so far everything's great. So I hope you liked the video, like, subscribe and hit the notifications.